We are at the Sears Center Arena in suburban Chicago for the MISL Game of the Week here on Fox Soccer Channel. And what a great matchup we have for you as the Chicago Storm hosts the Detroit Ignition. Good evening, everyone. Happy holidays to you. I'm Ken Tomash. This is a matchup of two teams that finished one and two in the league standings a year ago. So settle in for some exciting MISL action tonight. Let's talk first about the Detroit Ignition. As we mentioned, they fell just short of a championship in their maiden season, losing to the Philadelphia Kicks in the league championship game. They do have league MVP Jamar Beasley back in the lineup tonight after he missed a couple weeks with a hamstring injury. And this team weathered a coaching change early in the year as Bob Lilly took over for last year's coach of the year, Mark Polisic. Here's Savage. Farias is calling for the ball on the right wing. We'll see if Armstrong sees him. He doesn't. But there's a shot and a goal by Branco Savage. Tough angle. And the big serve makes it 2-0 Chicago. A very quick team and very strong. Here's Warte Sampson pulling his way in and scoring. Warte Sampson showing why he's scored eight goals in as many games, makes it nine and nine. And it ties the game at two as we get set to go to an official timeout. While well, the Ignition have answered and have tied the score against the Chicago. Drew Callahan knocks it into the corner for Sampson. He'll turn and try to fire, but I got a piece of that. And following up with the rebound, Chicago watches as that man, Ryan Mack, makes it 4-2. Once again, great job by Detroit, keeping possession. Oh, there's an unfortunate mistake there by Waltman. Ball in deep, takes a weird bounce on him. John Ball, the beneficiary of an accident there. I'll tell you what, you uh, have a little brain fade there, and John Ball's been playing this indoor game long enough that he'll make you pay. Certainly not what we expected, though, here from the start, from uh, two teams that we think of being very defensive-minded. Again, you can see it there on the replay. The ball takes a weird bounce on him, and unfortunately, it doesn't work. Fouled Everton there, no call. Likes it. Pass is intercepted. Here's Detroit quickly. Rife. Flick back. The shot buried into the net. Everton to Ricardinho, and Ricardinho puts Detroit back on top. Well, great series there. Ball Lofted into the area, comes off the glass. Zay Roberto is there, and Danny Waltman picks it off his teammate's boot. Now, who will whip it long? Celadopoulos running onto that one, and Richie came out, and Celadopoulos made him pay. Great throw by Danny Waltman. You see a little bit of a balance unity right here. As Celadopoulos looks to cash in and can't. The shot that goes off Farias and into the goal. Everton will get credit for that one as he kisses his boot. It took a lucky bounce off. Looks like Detroit's going to kill off their second power play, but again, in transition, they get Beasley. And Beasley scores! Exactly what we said. Well, fantastic play there by Beasley. Another great kill by, uh, by Detroit. 40 seconds left. The Chicago power play as Mack tries to run onto that ball in space and does. Lays it up for Rice, and Rice gets the shorthanded goal. The onslaught continues for Detroit. <laughs> Great idea, at least. Here's Fabinho. He'll take a shot. He'll just miss. Rosenband will hold it in. Off the wall in front. Put home. Ian Bennett with his first goal of his pro indoor career. And at least that breaks the Detroit streak. And here's Greenfield in transition. Showing that he's a defender that can come forward. His left footer from three range goes wide. Saladopoulos sets up his man in front. And R Ricardinho cashes it in. Nice ball by Celadopoulos. And here again is Jamar Beasley, a three-on-one break. Plays it up, and Everton scores. That is a fantastic finish by Everton. Let's the ball roll all the way across his body. Mack looking for his second goal of the game, and he gets it. And that one from the 1998 Michigan High School Player of the Year is one he'll remember. What a great stroke. They need a touchdown. Get the ball back. Do it again. Celadopoulos lays that one off for Mack. Mack tripped over the ball. Good tackle by Kleitzen. Josh Reif gets it back. Celadopoulos shot and he scores. That's a fantastic finish by Celadopoulos. And this, this could get ugly here. Chicago continues to try to press. Three on two. Callahan sends it across and Mack. The hat trick. His last two have been tremendous finishes, and that one's set up on a turnover and a great ball by Callahan. Ryan Mack with a hat trick. It's going to improve to 7-3. and three. Chicago will fall to 7-3, and three, and it's going to create a log jam 
At the top of the MISL standings, the final score, the Detroit Ignition 25, the Chicago Storm 7. You see the Detroit bench celebrates as Coach Bob Lilly's crew came in and took care of business tonight, Brian Love.